Hi, this is Alex from Milton Keynes Best Business Directory, and today we're interviewing Barbara Cherryman from Guardian First Aid Training. Hi, this is uh, Barbara from Guardian First Aid Training. Hi, Barbara, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How did you get started, and what motivated you uh, to start your own business? Well, 17 years ago, I was working as a civil servant. And uh, I went on holiday and I had a very, very bad accident. I actually rode a motorbike over a cliff and nearly died. But luckily, I was quite an experienced first aider and was able to explain to people what I needed to help me to survive the accident. Um, I did eventually get home from the accident and was actually not able to work then for two years. When I eventually got better, I took a redundancy package from work and decided that it was time for me to uh, start my own business and, well, to think about starting my own business. So I started to look around and eventually, through a series of sort of quite, well, they were coincidences, I got into a situation where I actually could start my own business doing first aid training and that is something that I'm very passionate about. So did you have uh, family members help you start the business or is there anyone else in the family that works? Uh, my son does a lot of my web stuff and my um, my um, web pages and my um, online presence. My husband helps with all the ac- <laughs> all the accounts because he's a VAT inspector. Uh, but apart from that, in terms of the day to day running of the business and decision making, that's all mine. Okay, so uh, how did you come up with the company name? Oh, hours and hours of heart searching. <laughs> But in the end, we just went with what we thought sounded quite nice and that would give us something that we could build a brand around. You, you, could, you, know, you would think about shields or hearts and things like that. And it gave us enough um, flexibility to, to, to eventually come up with a nice logo and, and brand identity. How long has the business been running? And uh, how long have you owned the business? Six years. Uh, started on uh, Valentine's Day. 2006, so we're into our sixth year now, and I've run it from the day it was, uh, di- you know, we, we, we sort of it was gave birth on Valentine's Day, and that was it, we were up and running. <laughs> okay, uh, and can you tell us about why you have chosen Milton Keynes as a location to run your business from? Well, Milton Keynes is where I've lived for the last 30 odd years. Um, I very much like Milton Keynes, I think it is, it's got a lot to offer, um, lots of new businesses. Um, I don't think we have suffered as much in this uh, economic downturn as a lot of other places. It's also very central. You know, we can reach into London. Mm-hmm. We can go. Uh, we can go west, east. We can go north. All of within easy travelling distance for us. What do you think differentiates your business from your competitors? One of the things that I've been really proud of, um, actually, if you like underpinning the business is that we try to do things a little bit different to our major competitors. Uh, All of my um, trainers are actually qualified teachers or have uh, qualifications in adult education and also we use healthcare professionals. So these people have been out there and done the job on the street helping people and then we translate that into our classroom. So it's not theory based, it's practical, down to earth, myth busting, good quality training. Okay, thank you. Um, You've mentioned your son helps you with your website, uh, but what other forms of marketing do you use? Uh, Do you carry out your own marketing? I do. Uh, I consider that it's my business. Nobody knows my business like me, and it's my job to actually get my message across to my customers. So at the moment we've got things like AdWords, I do mail shops, We've got newsletters, both electronic and hard copy. Um, I'm doing some, we're doing a video, we're doing some uh, video work at the moment. And uh, yeah, I've got about seven marketing campaigns, all at different stages going on right now. So what sort of um, percentage of your time is spent on marketing versus the operations? (sighs) Well, I've really tried to step away from the operations now. I've got a PA that I've had for two years, PA admin person, and she really does look after the nitty gritty. And that frees me up to look at the strategic elements of running my business. So, oh, probably as little as 20% of my time now is spent 
operationally. The rest is all on looking at the vision, where we go in and how to do it. Can you give me an example of one recent marketing campaign that's worked for you? Um, we're, still in, we're still carrying this one on, but we've had very good results. Um, just before Christmas, I ordered these little miniature first aid boxes, little personal first aid kits. And I filled them up with uh, a box of chocolates, um, which was fitted perfectly, and a little scroll. And then I, I sent them out as 3D marketing to a targeted group of people in the type of um, companies that we want to get into. So these were corporate clients. And that allowed us to a, get it on their desk, and it to be that little bit different, and then it also gave me the opportunity to do follow-up when I actually sent them three separate letters at regular intervals with little things to put inside their first aid, their personal first aid kit. So for instance, some paracetamol tablets, because obviously looking after first aid in their company might give them a headache, <laughs> and so on. And we've had a very, very good response to that, excellent take up, and it's something that we're still rolling out. And we'll continue to roll it out for the rest of the year, because I've got a database of about three to 400 companies that we want to get introduced to. Fantastic. Okay, that's a great story. Uh, so that really worked for you. But can you? Uh, do you have any marketing nightmare stories you can tell us? Not yet. <laughs> I mean, obviously, things like sending letters to dead people is always pretty awful. Um, I did once send something about had something about smoking, and I sent it to a shop that sold nothing but cigarettes and smoking. And he <laughs> rang me up and he was really, oh, and I'd forgotten to put a stamp on it as well, so we'd have to pay for it to be delivered. And then pick it up. Oh, <laughs> and he dear. was really cross, <laughs> but I sent him a, a cheque to, to cover the postage and apologised profusely. But apart from that, nothing else has gone really badly wrong. Well, thank you very much for a great insight into your business, Barbara. And uh, have you got any closing thoughts? Ooh. Not really, other than to say with marketing, it's just time and time and time and time again. If you just do it once, that's just hope. If you do it two, three, four, five, then that's a marketing strategy. And I'm finding that that's the only way it works. Thank you very much, Barbara. You're welcome. Cheers.